Jamaican youths, we are the best. A brighter future that's a few way interest. Time and skills, we invest. Get your vision, join the mission. Oh, yeah. Ability is what you're capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do. But your attitude determines how you do it. Do holds. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rihanna Robinson, a phenomenal young lady from the Immaculate Conception High School, vying for the post of National PRO of the National Secondary Students Council. NSSC has yet to maximize their full potential as we have yet to reinforce our brand or name as the primary advocate for the students of Jamaica, the secondary students of Jamaica. We need to increase our presence, increase our involvement. There should be no negative responses or any I don't knows when asked about the National Secondary Students Council. We should be known. Students should want to know us, want to follow us on social media. They should want to know what we're doing. Therefore, we need to execute creativity along with consistency. We need to get on the same page as our fellow students and carry this out in such a method that will speak to them and urge them to work with us to advocate for them. We need to stop being the spark. We've been the spark for too long. It's time to level up. It's time to be a force of nature, to be the fire. The fire that keeps on burning and can't be outed. The fire that burns for students, their rights, protection, safety, education, free expression, diversity, individuality, and so much more. Who is a better choice than me? Rihanna Robinson, event planner of the ICHS Students Council, general secretary co-opt of the NSSC for the year 2018 to 19, second VP elect of the ICHS Students Council, just to name a few of my roles. During my tenure, if elected to office, I have a killer three-point plan guided by the acronym PRO. Productivity, which is my main goal, will be executed through rejuvenation and optimization. I plan to achieve this through a number of ideas. NSSC has yet to maximize its full potential where promotion is concerned. I believe I can bring this council one step further to this goal, or a few steps further to this goal. Those before me have done tremendous jobs. I only plan on improving on what they have done with innovative ideas. We need to take a step back. Even though we are an organization of high esteem, we must be able to relate more with our peers. Relay the info in a way that they want to see it. I plan to use funny videos, memes, and animated flyers instead of only business flyers, and much more to entice students and make them interested in what we post. I plan to host Instagram live sessions bi-weekly, where interesting and intriguing topics would be discussed. This topic would have been chosen by students based on a series of polls that would be posted in our Instagram story, and the option with the most votes would be the topic used for that week. I plan to also continue with Motivational Mondays. This is where a chosen video of students would be posted, sending a motivational message to others. I have a lot in store for this upcoming year. This covers the rejuvenation aspect of my plans, as we need to upgrade the way we do things. In NSSC, networking is very important. Like we need links, cause links run the division. I agree with me or not, we need to be up to date with our Facebook account just as much as our other social media platforms, such as Instagram. We need to keep in contact with people who will actually effect the change that we need to see in our events. They all have a Facebook account and most if not all of them have a LinkedIn account. So you know what that means, we need a LinkedIn account. This brings us to the optimization aspect of my plan. If you know Rihanna, you know say I'm me say youth empowerment. So guess what? I want to run a campaign through the NSSC app. But say no phone never knows the NSSC have big, big app. However, the ownership of this app was not handed over to us. Therefore, we haven't been able to use it, much less to use it effectively. I plan to change this. I will be recreating this app, not just the way it was before. I plan to add more advanced features such as this. Picture it. Waking up in the morning to a motivational message every morning. Isn't that nice? Meeting so too. 
or youth will have a good outlook on their day before it even starts. This will create a more purpose-driven youth in their classrooms. I also plan on uploading motivational podcasts available for students to watch. This will empower them tremendously. This app will be launched before the end of my tenure as it won't be a simple task and it won't and can't be done alone. I also plan on inviting other meaningful hosts on this app, such as the KSAMC and Operation Help the People, just to name a couple. Youth empowerment is my end goal. Advocacy is my love, my passion, enabling, supporting and assisting my fellow peers in defending and promoting their rights. All this and more if you vote Rihanna. Vote PRO, the realest girl with the realest way. Remember to vote productivity, efficiency, creativity. Cause there's one way and it's the realest way. Thank you. One way I will raise awareness is through one, through the app that I plan to recreate, through our Instagram, different social media platforms. I believe that we need to get on the same level as students. Yes, we're an organization of high esteem and everything, and we have to take a, you know, orthodox approach, a professional approach to things, but sometimes we need to just build back a little bit, get on their level. So to raise awareness, we need to basically Show them what they want, memes, funny videos, animated flyers, you know, it's a technological era, so they want to see little things like that. It's not always going to be, oh, this, that, that, in a specific order, professional ways all the time. They want to see things that they can relate to, things that can allow them to feel comfortable. I believe that if they really don't want to participate, they're not going to. So I think we need to make them want to participate with what we're doing. So again, I believe we need to relate with them. I think that if you make them comfortable with where they're going, what they're doing, make them realize that, listen, we're here, we're here to help you. We are here to help you. We're here to work with you, advocate for you. So in this, making them want to actually participate in it, there shouldn't be a thing where, oh, there's a way to make them do it. They should want to do it. And if we get on their level and allow them to want to be doing this, then they will do it. I believe so. Okay, so one marketing strategy that I could use is the promotion through Instagram. You know, Instagram has a when you have a business page, you can promote what you're doing. So that's one marketing strategy. I also plan to um, send the notifications through the app that I am creating, post on Facebook, just make sure that the posts are consistent and people are viewing them, etc. So just increase social media presence. The importance of a PRO in any organization is simply public relations. What does public relations mean? Someone who is relaying the information that needs to be brought across to the public. So the PRO is basically there to have to create a link between the students, well in this organization, to create a link between the students of Jamaica and the NSSC. So we need to have strong bonds so that the information, reliable information, is brought across. So that is the importance of the PRO. I believe that a simple phone call is very important. Even though, you know, every you'd think that pe most people would have internet, etc. Not everyone has access to those things. So if we're consistent with making sure that the other students outside of where you know have access to internet, everyone would have access to internet. Some students won't. So having phone calls, consistent phone calls, allowing them to know exactly what's going on with what we're doing constant uh, reminders 